Welcome to the online lecture series of Turbo Machines. Here is Professor Lakshman Mani. This is lecture on axial flow compressor part 6. That is construction and working of axial flow compressor. I acknowledge my sincere thanks to the following author and courtesy for being used these concepts to make this video session. In this session, you will be able to explain construction and working principle of axial flow compressor. You will be able to illustrate difference between centrifugal and axial flow compressor and you will also be able to explain applications of axial flow compressor. Introduction to axial flow compressor. Axial flow compressors are the turbo machines which are used when high volume flow rates of air high compression ratios and high power to weight ratio is required. Here we can observe in an axial flow compressor the air flows parallel to the axis of rotor. Axial flow compressors have the benefits of high efficiency and large flow rates, particularly in relation to their sizes and cross sections. Axial flow compressors offer the most compact and lightweight compressor design for large volumes and the lowest cost per flow rate for large flow rate applications. In case of axial flow compressor, high pressure ratio about 20 as to 1 is obtained. Axial flow compressors gives speed range of 10,000 to 30,000 rpm. High efficiency about 85 to 90 percent is obtained using axial flow compressor. Construction and working of axial flow compressor. So from this image, we can see different components of axial flow compressor. Suction side. This is a rotor that is a rotating part. This is a stator that is a fixed part. Discharge side and this is a casing so in case of axial flow compressor air flows parallel to the axis of compressor that's why it is axial flow it consists of adjacent rows of moving blades that is called as rotor blades and fixed blades that is called as stator blades so here you can see these are the blades which are attached to the shaft so it is rotating blade so it is rotor and these are the blades which are fixed to the casing as a fixed part that's why it is called as stator and the blades are stator blades Now we will see about rotor of axial flow compressor in detail here from this image you can see that it consists of moving blades which are mounted on the rotating drum. So this is a rotating drum. Rotor increases the absolute velocity of air means kinetic energy of air is increased. 
so the input energy of the rotating shaft is transferred to the air by moving blade thus kinetic energy of the air is increased blades of rotor from this image you can see here the velocity of air is increased in the converging blade passage so these are converging blade passage so kinetic energy of air is increased here stator in this image you can see fixed blades are attached to the casing so these are the fixed blades which are alternately arranged function of the fixed blade is to receive high velocity from the preceding rotor blades and to direct the flow to the next rotor blades so air is further diffused in stator blades here relative velocity is reduced and converted is converted into pressure rise now we will see difference between centrifugal compressor and axial flow compressor in case of centrifugal compressor the type of flow is radial while in case of axial flow compressor the type of flow is axial in case of centrifugal compressor pressure ratio per stage is about 4 while in case of axial flow compressor it is about 1.5 per stage centrifugal compressor gives isentropic efficiency about 70% while axial flow compressor has isentropic efficiency about 85 to 88 percent centrifugal compressor requires large frontal area for given mass flow rates while axial flow compressor requires less frontal area for given mass flow rates centrifugal compressor is not suitable for multiple staging due to large losses while axial flow compressor is suitable for multiple staging now we will see applications of axial flow compressor axial flow compressor are used in large volume natural gas services to obtain continuously pressurized gases axial flow compressors are used in large volume air separation units to produce high purity oxygen nitrogen argon and rare gases axial flow compressor is used in fluid catalytic cracking unit so fluid catalytic cracking unit that is fcc is one of the most important conversion processes used in petroleum refineries so here you can have view of fcc unit it is widely used to convert the high boiling high molecular weight hydrocarbon fractions of petroleum crude oils into more valuable gasoline olefinic gases axial flow compressors are also used in aircraft as a part of jet engine where axial flow compressor is coupled with gas turbine which is used in power generation so axial flow compressor is used here for the light weight operation in air craft so at the end of this session you can explain construction and working principle of axial flow compressor you can illustrate difference between centrifugal and 
axial flow compressor and you can explain applications of axial flow compressor if you like this video please subscribe and share thank you